Hello everyone, uh, it's Christian here from LSI. Hope all is well. I decided to uh, record my presentation. I couldn't be there in front of you, so I thought next best thing, I'll just record it and send it to you. That way you can listen to it any time of the day or night and whenever you want. You can give it to other people and they can listen to it because it's I'm sure it's uh, going to be so exciting you're going to want to do that anyway. Anyway, Let's get to it. I'm just going to give you an overview of uh, the new launches that we've got running this year. So first of all, MegaRaid. It's uh, as you know, MegaRaid uh, is um, you know our mainstream product, our RAID product. It's becoming more and more of a commodity product now, which is uh, something that we've seen, well, we saw coming our way. So over the years, we've been developing in the background to bring out, you know, how do we advance MegaRaid? How do we get the adapter into bigger applications, into bigger solutions? And so that's why, you know, that's why the whole focus of LSI is changing, really. It's all changing towards flash technology and, and application accelerations. And now we have also got into um, high availability. So one of the changes occurring uh, straight away is uh, this year will be you'll start to see the 12 gig come out. So really 12 gig, uh, you know, that's not for the 12 gig hard drives. So, you know, immediately customers will be thinking, well, I don't need 12 gig because, you know, when are the manufacturers bringing out 12 gig hard drives? It's not all about that. Basically, it's about um, bandwidth, performance and bandwidth. So we want the mega raid uh, to get out of that commodity, you know, simple raid, blah blah blah. We want to bring that. We want to bring it into a, you know, high performance, high bandwidth solutions. And to do that, you know, that's that's where 12 gig steps in. So, for example, a uh, standard six gig raid card. You know, you put about seven SSDs on that, and you'll max out the bandwidth, and that's it. But now you can go to the customer and really offer them a 12 gig uh, RAID card. And what that does is now, you know, that's up to 14 disks SSD. So really, you know, now you're entering into a really high end kind of uh, very high performance uh, solution area. And that's taking the RAID card into there just with a simple upgrade into 12 gig. OK, um, obviously, you've, you guys all know about this already, the Nitro Mega RAID. So once again, you know, that's really just taking the, the Mega Raid card and uh, adding the flash onto it. And then all of a sudden now you have a very high end sort of like application acceleration product to sell. So, you know, it's the standard eight port adapter, uh, four ports dedicated to the flash, the onboard flash. And then another four ports that's going to be dedicated to, uh, to, the, to the choice of storage. So you'll either go onto the back plane and add in, you know, and use an expander and, and add as many disks as you can. And obviously the uh, the flash starts looking at the reads and writes, it tags them and then, it, it, you know, it groups it together and that's called the hot data and it, it, it puts that onto the flash. And that's where you're getting this huge performance. And, uh, you know, I what you tend to see is the disk, the disks start to get used less and less as more and more IOs, uh, reads and writes are being put onto the uh, flash. Okay, so getting to the point, it's faster, obviously. Uh, now we're talking about moving away from, you know, doing the, the, the reads and writes and the heavy load on the disk, and we're putting that onto flash. So you, you've got to be careful. Obviously, if, you're, if the customer has a um, database that is very low on reads and write, that's not read and write intensive or IO intensive, well, he's not going to necessarily see any performance gain. It's only going to be these applications that are doing heavy loads to the disk, uh, and then that's you know that gets taken away from the disk, put onto the flash, and then you start seeing up to ten times faster, you know, performance. Uh, little a little thing that also or a little feature that happens in the background is you know if you think about it, the lifespan of those disks now they're not being you know they're not being hammered as much, so the lifespan is better. Also, if you get a disk failure, you know, normally those disks get really heavily hammered. There's a disk failure. It starts trying to rebuild. You know, they're working over over as hard as possible. And that's where you get that opportunity where if you have another disk failure, um, you could possibly have a complete crash and, and corrupt the whole data. So that's where RAID 6 comes in for, with the two parity drives. But really, you know, now this, the, the, the flash card, that gives you the opportunity there to... Uh, you know, take the load off the disk. So now the rebuild times in the background are going to be, you know, up to 75% faster, which is, uh, you know, a very key feature. Uh, smarter, obviously, you know, you're utilizing all of the technology 
coming coming to us from you know 30 years plus of experience of the of mega raid you know with the with the fastest processors and pcie 3 gen slots and so forth and then uh obviously uh the flash you know it's smart we've, we're we're upgrading the firmware it's happening just just uh uh, any day, our engineers have it now, so we'll be we'll be uh, officially releasing that any day. And that what that allows you to do is now partition the uh, the flash. So you know there are certain customers out there that are screaming for um, maximum uh, sort of like capacity for their servers. So what they tend to do is uh, you can you can partition a bit of the flash and put the OS on it, so it's a quick you know instant boot up. And then uh, you're not using any drive bays with SSDs uh, taken up by the SSDs for the OS. Uh, that's not for everybody, but it is it is a little neat feature that appeals to certain customers. And also, um, you know, different OSs do different things, or applications do different things. So if the I/O is read intensive, we can now partition Elastic Cache. We can move the the space so it is more of more. There is more avail availability for the reading. Uh, and vice versa, we can move it if there's if it needs more cash for the writing. So that's very clever, and uh, it's obviously the, you know the good old easy. It's um, you know it's we've made it as simple as possible, and you know plug it in, switch the server on, and uh, completely transparent to the application and runs without uh, you know with instantly. So who's going to want to buy it? You know we already know these kind of scenarios anyway, but you know your existing upgrades. Uh, customer wants to upgrade his server, uh, get that application acceleration, um, but he, you know, obviously doesn't have the budget to go crazy. So a simple uh, turn the server off, pull out the Mega Ray card, slot in the Nitro card, switch it back on. It's transparent, instantly starts working, and you're up and running. Uh, faster performance with more capacity. You know that's what they're all screaming for. You know I need my applications running faster. Uh, I need I need maximum capa you know uh, capacity um, f you know with my with my storage, and uh, that's the challenge because you know to get maximum performance you're going to need a lot of spindles which is obviously very expensive and also you start limiting the uh, the volume the storage volume uh, in the back end as well, so this is a win win so you you, you know you're going to gain the performance with the flash and you're going to be able to utilize you know lower cost higher capacity discs at the back end. So he not only gets performance, but he gets you know double the amount of uh, capacity as well. So that's a good good selling point there. Uh, as you know, uh, you know the last couple of years we've been selling it as uh, you know buy a Cache K Pro license, either the software key or the hardware key, buy a Mega Rate adapter, you know get some couple of SSDs out there, uh, wire, you know plug it all in, wire it all up, and uh, and then uh, obviously configure. You know that's that doesn't that's just not going to work moving forwards. You know we need to, as we've said, it's plug and play. So we've had to make it simple. So really, you know, now we're selling it as a bundle. It's as simple as that. So it's plug and play. You know we've brought the price points down. As you know, we've brought the price points to match buying it all separately anyway. There's a small premium, and that's about it. So it's really all about just you know getting that single card out and getting it into as many applications as possible. Uh, it comes in the three flavors, so 100 gig, which is what you know is for our channel is probably the most popular. 200 gig and an 800 gig. So, uh, what size do I sell? Well, you know, really, I'd suggest to um, get that predictor software in front of customers. They run it, and uh, it will it will read uh, or look at the reads and writes, and look at the IOPS, and really give a, you know give a gauge of what sort of size that flash needs to be. You know, in general, rule of thumb is about 10% of the HDD volume. But really, you know, in in our level of the market, uh, the 100 gig, 200 gig are the, are the sweet spots. Um, when you get into the 800 gig, or you get into our higher end uh, nitro range, you know, that's it's a different sales, it's a different selling, and it's not you know, it's not a mainstream product. It's you know, you start entering into the uh, you know, into the the high end banks and the very high end data centers and you know that's where you're competing against Fusion IO. Whereas this part of the market, you're getting the Flash and RAID together. You know, as a sing as a simple solution, and uh, you know these, these are the these are the products to, to push. Um, okay, all right. So moving on, night. The we've done the. You can see what we've done with the Mega RAID. We've brought it into the 12 gig. So we've brought, you know, a uh, a simple RAID card into a higher end solution there, with the bandwidth and the performance. And then we've brought the uh, we've added on the flash, so that gives you the uh, Mega Raid now has flash, so that brings it into um, application acceleration. 
and then now um, we've brought the mega ray card into a um, failover solution so what's it all about well we've been uh, apparently over a hundred engineers have been working for the last two years in, in conjunction with uh, Microsoft it's taken that long to get this product to work so it is a very unique product you know this is something that's not out there at this level uh, and it's something exciting it's something that the channel is screaming out for uh, not necessarily at the price points that they want at want it for but it is something that's going to be very successful uh, it'll come in two flavors so you've got your eight port external and you've got your eight port internal so you can see it's the normal mega ray cards we put the uh, cash vault uh, batteries in so that's you know to gain that obviously because it's a high availability solution it needs to be you know rock solid and those CDs that's where the money is in that firmware and, and uh, drivers you know that's what it's all about that's where the development is and that's what's costing the most money um, two scenarios right is a d discrete server so that's fairly straightforward so you've got two servers one with a ray card in each you wire that up to a single JBOD uh, it's active passive so if you get a failure ser failure on a server it will fall, fail over to the next server and and, and remain running uh, probably in our channel uh, in our channel it's the uh, cluster in a box that will be really successful because um, you know you don't there's not a you don't need the JBOD so that's uh, the two servers in the back and uh, sharing you know plugging into the uh, back plane and sharing the disk uh, once again, active passive. If, if if there's a failover, uh, it will move across to the other server. You know, you you can also have two servers on the one motherboard. Uh, that's a little bit extreme, but you know, that's still a high availability solution. Okay, so there's no, the the key thing is right. So okay, you know, we're bringing these solutions are being brought into the channel, but they're not solutions that you know. Hey, this is something completely new, and you're going to have to forget about everything you know and stuff. For, you know, and look at brand new hardware. It's all about you know. Hey, you know, 12 gig. It's the same card, it's just faster. You know, hey, it's this, the the uh, nitro. It's the same card, said same technology, just got flash put on it. You know, and this is a similar thing here. Hey, it's a new. It's it's the same mega ray cards. It's just that uh, you know they've thrown in some firm with some software that makes it high, high availability. You know, so they're already used to using the mega ray cards. So you you're not having to put a hard sell there. You know, people are buying super micro servers, Intel servers. There's no hard sale there. You know, people understand JBODs, so there's no hard sale there. Uh, you know, today it's only on Microsoft, um, but you know, hey, there's no hard sale on that either. Everyone's you, everyone's comfortable. Our channel's comfortable with all of that. So it's really just, you know, it's just an upsell to, you know, look, guys, um, you know, this is some, see, you know, this is a high availability solution. It's basic, simple, easy to deploy. Let's rock. So who's going to want to buy it? Well, you know, I can't. It, it comes at a uh, high availability. Comes with a premium. You know, you look at all the different levels out there of uh, solutions, and you know, you when you get into high availability, you get into high cost. Okay, so we're going to try and keep that price down. Uh, we're fighting with a business unit now to get that price made at the right pro at the right level. But really, when you when you uh, your customer needs to weigh up. Okay, small to medium businesses. You know, remote offices. Server goes down. Well, you know, you're not going to uh, have enough, you know, it's going to cost a lot of money before that uh, server gets comes back online. And that lost business is very expensive to these sorts of businesses. So, you know, that's the payoff. That's that's what you measure up against. You know, yes, it costs you a little bit more, but it's going to save you a hell of a lot in the long run. I could have closed my door, but, you know, I'm, I'm in my office. Um, and that's just, uh, that's a uh, CD I'm playing in the background there. Uh, all right, so that's it. Thank you, guys. Um, or I won't say guys. Thank you, everyone. Bottom line is, let's get people evaluating Nitro and Synchro. Let's get people qualifying Nitro and Synchro. And let's start getting people buying and you selling so Nitro and Synchro. So I, uh, I had 15 minutes to do this presentation in. It's now 14 minutes and 14 seconds. So I think I've done a good job. Um, appreciate your time. Any questions? Email me. Call me. Oh, yeah. Goodbye.